Hey dog, I'm Wolf, and this is Wolf TV. Now today I'm going to be reviewing a game, Halo 3 ODST. Hey, that's cool, it rhymes. This is a first person shooter set in some alien world or something, and you go around and you shoot aliens. That's, that's about all I know from this game, because... Really, they don't tell you too much in the story. I think there's probably something quite interesting going on, but they don't really tell you. They're they're like, herp derp, go over there and shoot that. But but really, I just kind of uh, I shoot at anything that moves, and then they seem to congratulate me when I shoot something quite spectacularly. So anyway, here here's my point to the review. Now the game it looks fairly nice. The graphics are quite well done, and it looks really good for a game on a console. I mean, the hardware in the console is, pre is pretty outdated, but it looks really nice. However, the lighting in the game is kind of annoying. There's a lot of parts of the level that are in the dark, and, well, when it's dark, and you just have night vision for like 90% of the game, uh, it's quite a, kind of annoying and it looks bad. But when you when you get out into the open, it, it can look quite nice. Other than that, you got the controls. Now, the controls are quite. They kind of feel a bit funny. They feel kind of loose, like like you don't really have that precise kind of control over over things like you're doing like a with a mouse and a keyboard. But you know, I guess you get used to them. But there's one thing I can't get used to, and that's where the aimer is. But look, it's it's kind of like on the bottom half of the screen and why did they do that it, it's really quite annoying um, I constantly feel like I'm walking around going hur, hur, hur. I'm walking around with my nose in the air and it, it makes things harder to aim at because you're used to looking at things in the middle of the screen and you're kind of like shooting them in the neck rather than in the head but but yeah I guess they try to do something new which is quite good, but, you know, they kind of failed it the same way. So other than that, we've got the level design. Now, oh, the levels look kind of nice, but they're very, very repetitive. You're kind of doing the same thing ten times, something else once, and then the same thing again ten times. Like, seriously, that's not a good game. And then you've got the loading. Now, the loading takes, like, years if you don't install it onto the hard drive when you install it onto the hard drive it's fine but you know other than that it's, it takes a very long time and then there's doors there's doors everywhere there's doors like right behind you right in front of you right to the left right to the right and it's quite crazy you know the amount of doors that are there and gameplay yeah it, it's all right but there's been games that have done it better and there's been games that have probably done it worse so it's kind of good but not great and so I guess that's it. Halo ODST is a good game because it's Halo, but it's also a bad game because it's Halo. Same thing again. You know, like they're just cashing in on the same thing. And why couldn't you be Halo Master Chief? He's cool. He doesn't afraid of anything. <laughs>